Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. So let's take a look again at the euro currency. What is going on here? In fact, the week just has started and market uh, has no time yet to show some changes in the current situation. Although we see some starting bounce from the area that we have specified previously in our weekly research, that is significant support since it includes monthly pivot support one, so lime thick line. It's right here. Also, it includes the ABCD extension, 618 extension from the large ABCD pattern on the uh, weekly time frame that is based on the head and on the right shoulder of the pattern that we have uh, discussed for the uh, considerable period of time already. And also, that is the neckline of the same pattern. And we said that uh, maybe we do not know definitely, but that level is significant support and odds suggests that some respect of this area could follow. If this will happen, we have nice thrust down here and that could be the context, the setup for Jordan Napoli directional trade. And that is the our short term trading plan on the euro currency. That what we in fact expected to expect to see. Uh, I, our primary target is to catch the right moment to sh short entry rather than make profit on the bounce up but if you're a scalp trader if market will give us uh, will give us some clear patterns in this area some reversal patterns well mm, I don't see anything wrong with the possibility and uh, attempt to take the long position scalp uh, long position as well here but honestly speaking the euro currency looks not very attractive for the trading uh, personally I see much more interesting situation on the Japanese yen and probably uh, tomorrow if euro currency will not give us any drastical uh, on, uh, tomorrow we will take a look at Japanese yen because there we have not bad context potential context for the jet Napoli trade as well our weekly brand body trade has finished a couple weeks ago that was really nice trade uh, well and currently there are some new possibilities uh, are appearing on the Japanese yen that could be a very um, high uh, probability trades uh, from the terms of the profit uh, that's very uh, definite setups could, could appear on the Japanese yen. The gold market that we have traded yesterday that uh, as we have discussed in our analysis of the gold market we have entered long yesterday the market also shows the excellent appreciation the year on the previous trading session so on the uh in the comparing of this with these markets uh euro currency looks a bit blur well still since this is our major market uh we will take a look at the intraday charts as well and we'll we'll continue to monitor the euro currency well in fact currently we do not have uh any possibility to or, but just uh wait and see more clarification, more confidence from the market that should prove us that this is really the bounce that we expect to see. On the 4 hour time frame, I do not see any patterns. Here just small observation. That is our harmonic swing of retracements that holds for the considerable period of time already here. Trend has shifted to the bullish side. We also have the nice divergence with the long divergence with the MACD indicator right, uh, right at the support. That is our Fibonacci uh, channel, so that's 100% extension. You can see market jumped here, consolidated here. Now it has broken through this body, uh, border, and the logical destination, logical channel stands inside of the 200 extension. It's right here. Also, take a look that currently the harmonic swing target coincides with the weekly pivot point, and uh, to get the minimum required uh, confirmation that my market really intends to continue some move to the upside and th that uh, some uh, real short-term bounce, short-term reversal will follow 
we need that market pass through the weekly period uh, point currently. And uh, as we said in our weekly research, we need to see that market will break this harmonic swing to the upside. It should exceed it. It will be perfect if market will show us the swing that is greater than this swing down. If this will happen, then we will take the first ABCD retracement that will appear and we'll try to, ta to take the long position, scalp long position, with the target around daily confluence resistance, 129, 90, 130, 40 area. Also take a look that weekly period resistance 1 stands precisely inside of this range. That will be the minimum target of this bounce. Also I can't exclude that this area could become the Fibonacci resistance area that will be suitable for the Jude Napoli brand by the sell. It's thrust down, retracement, if market will hit this area. Uh, that will be a suitable area for starting Jude Napoli directional pattern. Some extended target stands right here since you could see monthly pivot point that hasn't been tested yet. This is July weekly p uh, monthly pivot point that also coincides, almost coincides with the 50% resistance major level of that whole thrust down. Your currency likes to show the 50% resistance uh, retracements. That's why this will be a bit extended target. But on the current week, I think that we probably will be focused if market, uh, if we will get lucky and market will really show the bounce up, probably we should be focused on this area. Around 130 area, so 129, 90, 130, 40 area. But unfortunately, guys, currently, as you could see here, snow patterns, no significant changes. A market hasn't done this uh, conditions yet that we have specified. Mm, it hasn't broken yet the harmonic swing, hasn't passed through the weekly pivot point. Uh, not shown, shown us uh, this greatest swing up, not previous swing down yet. So you can see. We have the great hopes here and great expectation of these uh, patrons to appear, but currently we do not see nothing yet. So all that we could do here right now is just to wait a bit and see what will happen. If we will take a look at the gold appreciation on the uh, yesterday's trading session, well, uh, maybe go, uh, your currency will show some acceleration. Uh, Maybe we will see some sort of the price action here as well, but currently it's not, not the time yet. Uh, probably uh, we will see it a bit later if we will see it at all, of course. So let's be patient. Uh, let's monitor this uh, market since if market will show what we would like to see, that will be not bad opportunity for trading. That could give us a lot of different setups for trading for a week or even more. That's why. Um, this situation currently is worth our attention. Let's see how it will turn. Yesterday, as I said, uh, sorry, tomorrow, as I said, we will be focused probably on the Japanese yen. But if your currency will show some drastical changes, some drastical moves, we will definitely be focused on the euro currency again.